welcome back to DF's Lego stuff and stuff. This engine is one of three engines I built about three months ago, and they've been waiting to have their videos made so that they can be taken apart and turned into new engines for three months. And recently, somewhat recently, I made a video on my compact 6x6. Now I'm doing this one, and the last one, just a hint, is a 4x4 version of an engine that I have only seen as a 2x2, so you might be able to guess what it is from that. But anyway, this is an oscillating flat 4. Now, a long time ago, I wanted to make an oscillating V8. I tried to figure out how to do it, and I didn't do it, but later I built this flat 4, which is quite simpler to do because the cylinders are on the same plane. So... I'll show you the way that this engine is constructed. We have our four cylinders, two here and two here. The crankshaft is in the middle, and this part serves as both a frame and a manifold. And as you can see, the crankshaft goes right through the middle of it. You can see here this is one of the ports, and this is in the exhaust position now. If this plate was, were here, air would be coming in through here, and as it tilts over that way, air is pulled out by the vacuum. Now, because this side is rotating in the same direction as this side. This is basically just flipped upside down for this side. And there is the port for this cylinder. And as you can see, it exhausts out the bottom. This side exhausts out the top, and this side exhausts out the bottom. These bricks here are what hold the engine off the ground, and that wasn't supposed to break. There. Now, on an oscillating engine with one bank of cylinders, you could use a 2x2 two two round brick here with an axle through it, but because I had to fit two connecting rods, in this two stud space, this is how I had to construct the piston. So this is what all the pistons look like. Now this engine runs quite smooth because having four cylinders with them all firing at equal intervals between each other and overlapping each other by 90 degrees, there are no dead spots. And so, ideally, it should be able to start in any position. Now, because it's a little sticky, it won't, but in an ideal universe, it would, and it will start in most positions. We have one crank on this side. And on this side, the crankshaft extends through this bearing to provide means of mounting a flywheel and driving stuff off of it. Otherwise, it would be completely useless. So, let's go downstairs and run this thing.
shark is decent. Definitely perky for a 2x2. Two two. You can see it wants to start in most positions. Here it's a little sticky, but if it weren't, it would be able to start in all positions. So, there's the oscillating flat four. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, leave a comment. That's that kind of stuff. Helps with the algorithm. So, with that, um, I will see you next time.